You know the other thing about drinks? It's like that bad for you to wake up from. You want to make it in this world? I'm putting the As you guys know, I've been building my home studio here and I recently picked up an amp. It's the Marantz PM6007. This thing is a beast. I listened to it, uh, I tested my new KLH5 speakers at my audio store and it was warm. The bass sounded not too fuzzy and warm, but like just, just right, like a, the right amount of depth. Um, the highs were crisp but not too bright like it was just on point you know so i picked up this guy um I i'll dive a little deeper into the sound overall sound quality once i break it in a little bit and uh, what you guys can expect to pay for this and if it's something that you'll be interested in buying so without further ado let's get this unboxing done Okay, so now that we wipe this area off, we're gonna put the amp right there next to the turntable and we'll hook everything up. Um, well, actually, you know, before I do that, I'm gonna go over the back of the unit with you guys and show you uh, what kind of inputs and outputs you can expect to find back there and what you can connect and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's do that. Alright, so this is the back of the unit and I just kind of want to go over some of the inputs here and outputs that uh, the unit incorporates. So here we have two optical digital inputs and a coaxial input. We have the integrated phono amp, which is a high quality amp, I believe, uh, for, your, for connecting your turntable and you have your ground here. Uh, five overall audio in analog connections, so you can connect CD players, recorders, and the likes. Um, you have a recorder audio out, and you have the subwoofer um, out here. So uh, if you wanted that extra bass, you could definitely do that. And here we have some gold-plated connections for your loudspeakers left and right channels and I believe each channel is 45 watts and uh, I want to say 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is the frequency range and you can do AB switching which just gives you another layer of um, you know just playing around with how you want to treat your your amp and your audio experience uh, I believe the screws are copper too which is nice uh, flasher in here, remote control in out, and you have your detachable AC in here. So that's always good to have. The unit itself is about 14 pounds or so. I believe that's six and a half kilograms if you're um, outside the United States. And it's a metal construction with vents up here. So you won't have to worry about overheating and it has these legs that are very rigid so once you put this down i mean this is not going anywhere um, so well, let's turn the unit around and see what we have in the front side okay so the front of the unit has a few things here that um, anybody can really fine tune to their liking uh, for their own personal music listening experience uh, i'll start over here is your power button Very, very like, there's no give. This, this is nice, I like that. And um, here you have your headphone input. Bass, treble, and balance. It's actually very smooth as you turn it and it kind of just sits in the middle here when you get to that midway point. So that's nice, I like that. Um, 
I believe this turns a certain color or something, purple or something. I, I, I gotta see, kinda gotta set it up and everything to kinda see more about what that's about. But here you have your volume for the unit. Filter one, two. Your speaker switch between A and B. Um, you have your source here and you have your input selector. And there is a slight click here as you turn it, but it's very smooth. So I just wanted to circle back and talk about price point and I also wanted to add if you know this is something that would be right for you. So who do I think this is right for? Well for me for example I'm someone who listens to uh, you know a lot of rhythmic music with beats and instrumental type music, hip-hop, stuff like that. So I needed my bass to be not too defined, but also punchy, and still, you know, have to incorporate that depth that I like, you know. And this was just right, straight, you know, with the with the settings set on the middle, no control, no changes on the bass and treble, and treble. So it was just perfect. So if you're somebody like that, I think this would be a great this would be a great fit for you. Definitely try to make it to your audio store and test some of these units out because to be honest like this wasn't even on my list you know so when you hear something you have a better sense for if this is right for you or not so don't just listen to my opinion on this on this review don't just listen to random people online do yourself a favor and get out there and check it out yourself and you know you might come across a, a different unit that you didn't think about you know you might come across a different unit than this but definitely 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 go out there and use your ears and you know and play the music that you like that, that you would normally listen to and then make your decision but at a price point of eight hundred dollars this just I, I just couldn't go wrong with it you know the amp itself, it's very rigid. Um, I don't think that I'll have a problem with this um, for years to come. And it has everything I need, and you know, minus the Bluetooth, but I'm fine with that. You know, I don't need a Bluetooth. And for hip hop listening purposes, I think this is just right for me. So um, yeah, anyways, thank you for checking out this video, this review, and please come back. And if you can, drop me something in the comments, give me a like, I would appreciate that. I'll see you in the next one. All right.